So this is the first of two recordings. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a NAS backup in Cohesity. So I'm in the dashboard right now. I'm going to go over to Protection, and I'm going to select Sources. I'm going to register a new source, and it's going to be NAS. And this is going to be generic NAS. It's not going to be NetApp. There's integration currently with NetApp Snapshot System. That integration uh, does not exist for Isilon, which will be the NAS array that I'm going to be backing up. Uh, so for this specific instance, I'm going to choose the generic mount point. I'm going to choose SMB as the share is available via SMB. And I'm going to provide a description. And it's going to require a username and a password. And this is to provide SMB access to the share so that files can be read and written back to the Cohesity system. So I'm going to use a domain username here and provide a password. So I'm going to register. And I now have a NAS mount point. As you can see, share02 is the one I just added. As you can see, um, it also is not currently protected, uh, given the fact that this green icon does not exist. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into Protection Jobs. And I have an existing protection job that has a, a, NAS, a NAS share attached to it. And it's Jeff Job 3. I'll go on Settings here. and. As you can see, it states that this job is protecting a, a, a NAS mount point using uh, the Aaron backup policy. So I'm going to show the servers that it's protecting. And here um, you see that it's protecting uh, the same NAS system but a different share. So I'm going to edit this protection job. And I'm going to keep everything the same. And when it comes to actually the objects that it protects, this is where I'm going to add the one that I just added. So share02 will now be protected via this protection job. I'm going to add it to the cart. I'm going to save the job. And as you can see, Jeff job 3 has been updated.